Welcome back to Gothic Homemaking, where I show you what all of the big stores are offering this Halloween season. Now last year, a viewer just like you wrote in and told me that I should visit a TJ Maxx store. I had never been to a TJ Maxx store. I went, and I was so impressed with what I found that of course this year I was eager to go and see what's in store for 2019. However, unlike last year, this year I've decided to leave Manhattan and venture into the wilds of Westbury, Long Island. Take a look. I walked into the Westbury, New York TJ Maxx to see they only had about an aisle and a half of Halloween items. Of course, I spotted the usual and fairly random kitschy Halloween decorations you expect to find there. There were mummies and bats, witches and cats, and the ubiquitous haunted houses. And since TJ Maxx sells a lot of closeout items from other stores, I spotted things I've seen elsewhere, like this skeleton with a book, this glassware I bought at Pottery Barn a couple of years ago, this jack-o'-lantern I recently spotted at Home Goods, a sister store, and this phone I've seen, well, everywhere. But if you're willing to dig, you'll find some gems like this lovely decorative skull with a handsomely sculpted crow on top. This is a great item for those of you who love Corvids, but don't love taxidermy. This Day of the Dead Snow White had a lovely wine glass beside her. But like a lot of the odd lot items at TJ Maxx, it was all alone and not in a set. If there were at least two, I would have bought them. My failure to find tastefully spooky hand towels continues here, unfortunately, as their designs were too kitschy for me. But perseverance paid off, and I eventually did stumble upon this gem. I absolutely love the sculpting on this skull candelabra. And then I spotted another one on a nearby shelf. I'll be making these even better when I paint them black with Krylon black lacquer spray paint. Wow, what could be better than a matching set? Well, that question was answered a moment later when I saw it. Just around the corner was another one, and it was twice the size. In all of my years of Halloween shopping, this is truly one of the best items I have ever found. So you know that's coming home with me. Honestly, after a visit to just one TJ Maxx location, I scored big time. I could honestly end there, but I didn't. I returned to New York City where, like a proper troll, I found my way under a bridge to another TJ Maxx location. This one at 59th Street and 1st Avenue. Upon entering, I was greeted by only one shelf of Halloween items and this trio of skeletons that I bought last year. There was, of course, lots of random Halloween kitschiness for those who love that stuff, but I did see this lovely item I'd never seen before. They also had some lovely bowls adorned with bats, and seemingly from the same collection, one with spiders. I particularly like the web designs on the side of this one. Once again, I struck out in the hand towel section, and strangely enough, also in the throw pillow section, where I usually have some spooky success. In passing, I did see these baking pans, and I thought you gothic gourmets out there might appreciate them. And I nearly missed this skeletal goblet set, probably because I was thrown off by the color. And though they're not for me, I bet there's a Grateful Dead fan out there who would love them. And then my fortune changed when I spotted this crystal ball. I don't usually go for the psychic motifs, but this item is absolutely gorgeous, and it's going to be even better when I paint it black. Plus, when you turn it on, it lights up and has an effect that seems like mystical fires burning within. It's beautifully sculpted, and it's really quite heavy. This one is definitely coming back to the lair of Voltaire. Heading to the checkout counter, I spotted one of those huge skull candelabras, and this one was already painted black. Well, that would have saved me a lot of time. Oh well. There was quite a long line at the checkout counter, and while I stood there like Zoltar cradling my crystal ball, I spotted another of those black skeletal goblets. Dark gods! If I'd known I'd run into another one, I'd have bought the one in Westbury, New York. Blasted! The Limelight is a cathedral that was turned into a nightclub. It was one of my favorite places to go in the 80s. Now, it's a pizzeria and a gym. Just a couple of blocks south, in the Flatiron District, are some beautiful buildings, including one of the prettiest buildings to ever house, a Bed Bath & Beyond, a Marshalls, and a TJ Maxx. This 6th Avenue location is our next stop. I must admit, I had the least amount of luck at this location. 
There was plenty of the kitschy stuff, and a panda vampire burglar? Honestly, what is this thing? Don't get me wrong, it's cute as the dickens, but seriously, someone needs to cue me in on what the hell this thing is supposed to be. I found the Halloween section to be very small at this location, though there were plenty of those Count Dracula and Totoro had a baby looking things. There was a solitary black velvet skull, which are quite popular this year, and it was a red one, which I've never seen before, being heavily creeped on by yet another one of those blood-sucking panda hamburglers. Of course, TJ Maxx is always super reliable for Halloween candles scented in a hundred variations of pumpkin spice. And in the non-Halloween section, you're likely to find beautiful candle holders and a globe like this one, which is the perfect metaphor for the dark planet I wished we all lived on. Honestly, the only item I found at this location was this skeletal plate from years past, but as usual, it wasn't sold in a set. Sadly, I looked around, but it was the only one of its kind. Now, since Marshalls is owned by TJ Maxx, I popped in and I found a couple of tables with Halloween decor. They had the gorgeous crystal ball I found at the uptown TJ Maxx, and the skeletal candelabras as well. In fact, they had mostly the same items they sell at TJ Maxx. They also had this lovely headless horseman figure a few of you wrote in to tell me about. So now you know, if you're losing your head trying to find the items I found at TJ Maxx, try Marshalls instead, and you just might get lucky. Once again, I had no luck with hand towels, though. But I did randomly find yet another addition to the black and white bowl collection, this time with skulls. And speaking of random, would anybody really mind if I slapped the employee who put these two items together? I mean, seriously, good grief. Anyway, as you can see, Marshalls might end up being a more reliable source for the better items I'm featuring in this episode, so pay one a visit. My last and final stop was in New York City's Financial Center, where tourists line up to get a photo grabbing a bull by the... um... tail? I took a stroll to Wall Street, where I asked a brave young girl if she knew where the TJ Maxx was, but she was busy staring down the New York Stock Exchange. Eventually, I asked old George Washington, and he said, I cannot tell a lie. It's over there behind the hot dog cart, dummy. I walked down a barricaded street and found the entrance to our last destination. Upon entering, I discovered a small table of Halloween goodies. They had these cool Jolly Roger wine toppers and the skull candelabras we've seen before, as well as that lovely headless horseman figure. I was about to gallop off thinking that was all they had, until I noticed another shelf of Halloween treasures. Now remember, it's all about digging around here, and upon moving a troll out of the way, I found this lovely newly dead statue that reads, Till death do we part. That's going to be the top of my wedding cake someday. <laughs> While I was there, there was a phone that was incessantly ringing, so I finally picked it up. A normal shopper not buying Halloween stuff. Screw that. Well, that leaves more for us. Like this amazing skeletal bolster pillow. This is perfect to snuggle up with. I'd rather snuggle with Orville Deddenbacher. Be my guest. That cranky bastard could use a hug. They also had those black and white bowls at this location. And a bit of digging revealed one with this amazing spider design. I can easily imagine this at an eerie Victorian tea party. In other words, sold. I also love this Ouija board bolster pillow, which I'd recommend if your lair is black and gold. But since my lair is black, gray, purple, and silver, I have to say no on this one. In the mug section, I only found one mug that lived up to my design sense. But as I was dead tired, I was ready to get some coffee of my own. I was heading out when I saw these table runners, which I don't really need as I don't really have a table big enough but nestled in the display was this one. This magnificent stitch skull design is sleek and black and shimmery and looks like the robes of an evil rabbi. So you know I had to have it. And there you have it. I found some of my favorite spooky decor items of all time at TJ Maxx this holiday season. So there are definitely amazing things to find there. But because their selection varies wildly from location to location, go to as many locations as you can and check their sister stores, Marshalls and Home Goods. If I've learned anything from this experience, it's that if you find one lone dinnerware item or glassware item, buy it because you just might find others at other locations. 
You know, if I had bought every single skeleton plate that I found at a TJ Maxx, I'd have the whole set by now. And speaking of full sets, I have many more stores to review, and I cannot wait to take you shopping with me as I go on a hunt for all of the best Halloween home decor items that'll look great in your lair year round. For more Halloween store reviews, subscribe and meet me right here at the Lair of Voltaire for more Gothic homemaking.